In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use confidence bands in order to give your labels at the top and the bottom of your viz enough room to breathe. Let's start with a simple chart that is maybe order date by month or by quarter. And let's put sales onto the row shelf. Now, whenever we want to label our, mac, our min and our max, we get something like this. And sometimes when we put these in a dashboard, so for example, let's say we want these to be, uh, we want to not include the zero axis. And when I go to put this in a dashboard, let me make it a small dashboard, maybe something like that. You'll see the labels, for example, right here for the minimum, the label isn't below the dot. And then for the maximum, the label isn't below the dot. Now, previously, we would have to write table calculations that would help us bump the top and the bottom of the axis. But there's actually a much simpler way that Roddy has shown us. And he's asked me to share this tip with you. So if you look at his GIF here, you'll see that no matter what he picks for the measure, it will always give enough space in the view. So how do we go about doing that? Well, he used confidence bands. So I'm going to go to the Linux pane and drag on a distribution band for the table. And I want this to be just a 110% uh, a of sales at the top. I can make this, that's fine. And uh, we can uncheck the recalculate, turn off the fill. I'm going to turn off the tooltip and turn off the computation. Hit OK. And now we should have on here somewhere the distribution band. OK, looks like I messed it up here. So uh, when would this be the sum? Nope, that's the wrong thing. So average sum of sales percentage 110. OK, uh, so that should be good. Let's hit OK. And uh, let me edit my reference line again one more time so I can actually see it in the view. OK, so you'll see it's now put 110% of the average of sales. OK, so I want this to be the max. So sorry about that. There we go. And now you can see um, that I now have this little buffer on here. So you see I've got a little bit of room above and below. So I can go ahead and add a second one. So let's go to distribution again. And let's make it minus 10% of the minimum sales. And turn off my recalculate, turn off the fill, turn off the labels, turn off the tooltips, and hit OK. And now I've got room at the bottom as well. OK, so if I go back to my dashboard, I'll now always have enough space for that mark. So let's go ahead and now change the mark type or the, the calculation. So if I make this a quick table calculation, I make it a running total go back over to my dashboard, I still have enough enough space. So my, my label is above and below the dot. What if I make it something like a moving average? Go over my dashboard, and now I still have enough room for above and below the dots. What if I make it uh, a, uh, you know, percent of total, something like that? I still have enough room for each dot. OK, great. So let me go ahead and close that and clear that. So now we have enough above and below. But what if I wanted to parameterize this to let us uh, let us choose uh, which measure we want to show? So I'm going to create a new parameter. And I'm call, going to call it choose a measure. And I'm just going to change it between, for now, let's just do uh, sales and profit, something simple and maybe quantity. And I'm going to go ahead and show this parameter control. And I'm just for ease of testing, I'm going to make it a single value list. And in order to use the parameter, I need to create a calculation. So I'm going to call this uh, value selected. And I'm just going to do a simple case statement on my parameter. I'm going to say when they choose sales. Uh, then sales, when they choose profit, then profit, 
when they choose quantity, then quantity, end. Okay. So now we can put that on our view instead. And let's just double check that our reference lines are now using that. So if I go in here to max, it's saying sum of value selected. I go to my min. Come on. Edit that. And we got minus 10% of the minimum. Okay, great. So now I can flip between the different metrics and I'll still have all of the room that I need. So if I go ahead and show my parameter control now, and uh, let me just stick it above the chart, or I'll just stick it, uh, yeah, it's fine, I'll leave it there. And I'm gonna make this a, uh, a single value list. And you'll see, no matter which measure I pick, I'm always going to have enough room. So special thanks to Roddy for this tip. Um, this is going to be a massive time saver. So again, what we do is we create distribution bands. I'm sorry, yeah, so let's edit this. And we just, uh, we have to create two distribution lines. Uh, one is that goes to 110% and one that goes to minus 10%. So hopefully you found that tip useful and have a good day.